Hello, party people. It is Wednesday, December the 14th. Hope you're all doing well. Today I'm making some dark chocolate peanut butter marshmallow cookies. Um, dark chocolate thumbprint marshmallow peanut butter cookies. The first thing I've done is add my sugar blend to this food processor. I'm using uh, three quarters cup of a uh, natural cane sugar. Sometimes you see it called uh, Demerara or uh, um, what else? Terranato raw cane sugar from Trader Joe's. Fair trade. Uh, and then I used a uh, half cup of a really dark brown sugar called uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Dark Muscovado from Mauritius. I don't know where that is, but uh, you can get it from India Tree Gourmet Spices and Specialties. And then I used, um, what did I say? I said half a cup of dark brown sugar, a quarter cup of the natural cane sugar, and three quarters cup of a uh, vegan organic. Uh, like blondish sugar I got from some bulk store, I don't know. Um, to that I'm going to add three quarters cup of this uh, here Dark Chocolate Dreams from Peanut Butter & Co. This stuff is awesome. If you haven't tried it, I recommend it. It's uh, dark chocolate, cocoa powder mixed with cane sugar and peanut butter, cane syrup and peanut butter. And, uh, like I say, it's delicious. Um, then I'm also going to add uh, a quarter cup of my favorite vegan baking uh, butter, which is made by Earth Balance. It's called Natural Buttery Spread. Um, they also sell this in sticks called Buttery Sticks. It's a blend of... Palm fruit, canola, soybean, flax, and olive oils. It's fantastic. There's also pea protein in it. Hmm. Um, it's really great. Check it out. It's vegan. Um, and I'm also going to use a quarter cup of uh, palm oil or coconut oil or some sort of shortening, whatever you happen to have in your kitchen. Uh, well, obviously the coconut oil is going to give it more of a coconut flavor, but since we're only using a quarter cup of it, it's really not that much flavor. Um, um, depending on whether or not you like coconut. And of course you have to take into account do people have nut allergies, whoever you're feeding it to. Uh, but then you wouldn't be giving them a peanut butter cookie anyway, would you? No, you would not be. Um, so, whatever. I like to use coconut oil, I like to use earth balance shortening. And I like to use um, this organic palm oil shortening that you can get at Whole Foods. It's in like a blue and white tub. And it's made by Spectrum. Yeah, Spectrum Naturals or whatever they are. They're really great. Uh, some of these items are a little more expensive, but if you're going to make a delicious cookie, you've got to spend the money. Um, if you're going to do it on the cheap, um, for bulk items, you know, to try to sell, good luck with that. It's my recipe. Give credit where credit's due. So, uh, I don't know, that's, uh, it's easier to tell you than it is to do. As you see, um, adding my buttery sticks right now. You could melt these buttery sticks if you wanted to. Uh, so it would be easier to just melt it in the microwave and then pour it into some popcorn or something sometime. Going with my Earth Balance shortening in stick form. Four tablespoons with a quarter cup. So I get that all in the bowl. Flip it on and 
go. So I got that blending. Um, it might need a little bit more uh, blending, but um, it's a good start. I let it run for a couple minutes to get nice and smooth and creamy. You gotta scrape down the sides of the bowl every once in a while. So, let's see. Now I'm preparing my favorite uh, egg substitute. Uh, if you're making vegan uh, baked goods, I like to use a blend of tofu, uh, milled flax seeds, and uh, energy egg replacer. So I put 50 grams of tofu in this here bowl. And to that I'm going to add... of flax seeds and two tablespoons of uh, soy milk. Why 50 grams you may ask? Well simple, I weighed an egg and the egg weighed 50 grams. So I said I'm going to use 50 grams of tofu. These cookies are definitely brought to you by soy. Give thanks and praises to the soybean and to the sun, which helps it grow. I should uh, let you know that today's show is brought to you by Platinum Kush. With a delicious hop aroma, rich, piney, um, tons of crystals. Um, I choose it for all my pain care needs. <sighs> you never know. So I'm going to mash that up really well. scrambled egg texture. Egg salad. Egg salad texture. Tofu salad. Speaking of which, you're going to want to make a tofu salad. If you're just buying the tofu for these here uh, cookies, because I just used a little corner of that, you can see, and there's a lot of tofu left, so you can make a tofu egg salad. Just Use your favorite egg salad recipe. So instead of adding uh, hard boiled eggs, add tofu. It's delicious. So, I'm going to measure a cup and three quarters of all purpose flour. No, these are not going to be spelt free. Spelt free? Haha. <laughs> Gluten free! They will be spelt free. Well, you can make them with spelt if you have gluten allergies, I think. Well, that would be uh, allergies to wheat gluten. If you got allergies to all gluten, you'd have to make them out of like a white rice flour or something like that. It's not going to lend the best results. But maybe, the, maybe then you'd want to add more energy egg replacer. I don't use very much of that. But if you were using white rice, white rice flour, you might have to use more. And then I'm going to use a uh, half a cup of uh, either sorghum flour or millet flour. They both have a light, sweet uh, flavor and like pastry uh, flour texture. I like them. I probably should have sifted that. So I add my all-purpose flour and my 
millet flour together. Uh, I've sifted them with um, my baking soda, my baking powder, and my salt, um, and my energy egg replacer, and it's ready to go into my wet part over here, we'll call it, <laughs> my wet part, uh, which is the sugar and the uh, butter, butters, and uh, the tofu and flax seeds all mixed up in here. Um, pretty sure I have everything in there. Let me double check my recipe. Ah, buttery stick shortening, cocoa, oh, flax seeds. Um, I've preheated my oven. Um, ah, I'm so excited. I think I'm ready to go. Um, I'm going to add some chocolate chips. And then uh, I'll start making the thumbprints. Okay, so I've mixed that wet and the dry. Um, this is the only second time I've ever made this recipe. So it seems like my dough is really gooey. Um, I don't remember it being like that last time, so I feel like I forgot something. Um, if you're having trouble making this recipe at home, then uh, you can just, uh, you know, send me an email and I will, uh, or, you know, like, ask me a question. Um, and I will send you the recipe via email, written down, um, or whatever you need help with, just let me know. Um, so I'm putting this into uh, one tablespoon um, balls and putting them onto my uh, cookie sheet that I've spread parchment paper on to prevent sticking. Um, the dough is like really gooey, um, I'm going to come in for a close up so you can see. It's really gooey and oily so it's pretty easy to put them right in the tablespoon and then pop them right out. Embrace for impact. We're taking the show on the uh, beep. So there's my tofu. Here is my dough. Hopefully the camera is doing a decent job of showing you. Let me see if I can get another light on the situation. All right, and uh, here are my cookies. That looks really dark. I don't want to mess with the lighting too much, but as you can see, I'm going to put my thumb into each one like this. And then I'm going to fill those up with uh, this vegan marshmallow cream. And I'm going to go plug this back in and show you a detour. Marshmallow cream. Suzanne's, made from a brown rice flour. Suzanne's? I don't know where I got that name. Uh. So now I'm going to dip in the marshmallow cream. A spoon. And then just pop it on there. Make it gooey. So I uh, preheated your, my oven to 375, like I said. Um, could I fit more cookies on this sheet pan? Yes, I could. But like I said, I feel like I forgot some sort of key ingredient. So I'm throwing it in my oven. And I'm only doing nine at this time because... Maybe I need to uh, flatten those a little more or something like that. Um, um, maybe I need to flatten those more or something like that. So I'm going to bake them for three, for 12 minutes at 375 degrees. Don't forget to turn on your timer. And while we wait for those cookies to bake, we can do some yoga. Yeah, yoga! Because just because it's vegan does not mean it's healthy. No, not at all.
All right, we're gonna start with uh, some strength poses I've been working on lately. Remember to warm up before you attempt any of these maneuvers. Okay, so I've gone into crow position here. If you know your yoga positions, crow. Something like that. Maybe it's called pigeon. I'm pretty sure it's called side crow. You can do side crow. Anything you do on the right side, you gotta do on the left side. That's how a yogi gets his balance. Let's see. So, on this, what I've been adapting this pose, I've been going into crow, and then I lift one leg off the arms, like this, and then try to put it back up there without losing my balance. Next, I'll try to do a headstand. Power yoga positions like these will help you burn those calories. Oh, or you can do some one arm push ups. any of these positions. For Remember to stretch. Do some toe touches. Do some warm-ups. You saw me doing the kicks earlier. Do something to get your blood flowing or else you're going to hurt yourself. Okay, so in case you missed those positions when I was doing them before, <laughs> Don't do that. That's dangerous. tough but uh, while we recover from that I'll show you what else I've been doing lately uh, I should probably plug in the um, better sound microphone Let's see. so I've been practicing this song called uh, 
deep sea boogie. And I'm trying to learn to play it uh, with my eyes closed, but of course you can't see that. in a couple days in a row. You lose your touch. So, jump right back on that horse. Obviously that first batch didn't turn out so hot. Um, they spread out quite a bit more than I expected them to, so it was good that we spaced them that far. Um, so what I'm going to do, I think, is probably chill the dough a little bit, or try to roll them um, more tightly and not press them down as far. Um, I'm going to have to experiment with it. A